Butcher guys, got another video here for you. This one is uh, a Steam video. If you play games using Steam, you may come across this error message and it's quite frustrating. When you look at uh, Steam itself, you look at friends, you'll see that it says that I'm in game when I'm not playing a game. And there's no process to say that Payday 2 is running. And this could be any type of game in inside Steam. So when you're using uh, Steam, it will say that you're in game and you're not. So if you look here, we can see that we have the Steam client with the friends bit open. And if we go to background processes here, this is where your game should be listed. So you can close the game down, but you can see there's no payday to uh, listed here or any other game if you're having the same issue as what I was having. And if you look online, there's not much about it online either, uh, but it's quite frustrating because you can't log out because it says you're playing a game. And when you reboot your system and start Steam up, it will automatically say you're playing a game and you're not. So you can't really do much about it. So I'm going to show you a quick fix for it. But you can see it's not listed here. And it doesn't matter what you do. So if you come down here and exit out, it will say you can't exit because it's waiting for Payday 2 to shut down. So the only way to exit is to force close it using the task manager. So we'll open up Task Manager here, and we're going to quickly exit this out. So we're going to end task, find the Steam client here. We're going to end task this, and you can see it's all closed off. Now, once we've done that, we can then do our fix. So it's going to show you here that it's closed. Make sure it's completely closed. Then come over to over to the Start button here and open up. File Explorer, this is Windows 10, but just get to your C drive and programs folder. You can see inside here, we're looking for Steam. So it'll be in one of these folders here, and you can see it's in this one. Now, once you get inside here, you want to look for the app cache. As you can see, here's all the app cache data here. And inside here, this is where it's all stored. So this is safe to delete. Uh, but what I want to do here is I'm just going to quickly rename this back but you can delete that whole folder app cache folder and it will create a new one when you start steam so I'm just going to do a dot back file on that just in case then we're going to go back down to the start button and open up steam I have no icons on my desktop so I'm just going to type steam and then this will allow me to start the program now once I've started this program it will automatically create an app cache folder as you can see there create a new folder and this should resolve your problem so once steam opens up again you can see here it's now closed that off and you can carry on playing your game but it's quite a, a nasty little uh, thing to happen because obviously if you're not expecting it you don't know what to do and you can't close uh, steam down or anything like that you can't play any other games but anyway that's basically how you can fix that error I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with computers or any video requests, head over to the forums. And if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, pop over there and give us a little like up over there.